it's Dan here, aka Coaster Dan, with another vlog here at Owen Towers for Scarefest 2021. Oh yes, the opening day, and we're with the one, the only Rob here at the park live. We're stupid enough to come here. <laughs> Obviously, we did uh, Fright Night yesterday, uh, which was absolutely brilliant. So make sure you do check out the vlog. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to doing the four mazes, which I'm quite slightly disappointed about. I thought they would have done more. Yeah, we we have heard good things already today, though. Maybe, yes, so yeah, we've we just seen uh, Ben there done that and he says that it's been it's been quite good. But uh, obviously we've got the four mazes which are we're doing steps. the attic first. Yes. Then we're gonna do darkest steps, Altonville Mine Tours and to toxic, toxic Junkyard. Yeah, which is actually indoors because last year it was an out uh, outdoors due to COVID and stuff. But they so, put a roof on it all. So. Yeah, so we're looking forward to going on that. No scare zones. Nope. I'm right thinking that. However, there is entertainment around, such as like dances and stuff like that, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, there's a few people here as well, which is gonna be amazing as well. I think I've just seen Parksville as well. He's doing some filming, he's working for Owen Towers, which is awesome. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm just I'm, like, I'm we're, both, we're both knackered though, because yeah, we, did, we didn't get home until about like midnight last night, so we're both like that. Ah. It was a long night. Yeah, it was a long night. So, uh, guys, so, like I said, we're gonna go jump straight away onto the uh, first maze, which is gonna be the attic. So, yeah, see you guys over there. Right, okay, we're heading now into our first maze, which I'll is the... Uh, I wasn't a massive fan of this last year, so we're gonna see if this is any better. Um, I'm excited, quite nervous as well, it better be good. It's, I'm hoping it's normally it's pretty good. It's so. gonna be good, mate, it's gonna be good. Yeah. So anyway, here we go, we're gonna let you guys know what it's like. Okay, here we go, we are now walking through. Remember last time I was here, I, this was absolutely packed. Now, I must admit, the park itself is really quiet uh, today. I don't know why, though. Yeah. Let's see if it's better than last year. Okay, we've just done our first maze here on, uh, at Scarefest here at Alton Towers. We have done the uh, Altonville Mine Towers. Yeah, that skin. was brilliant. That was so It good. was really good, to be fair. That was better than last year. Although we were just saying, well, Luce was saying anyway, that th there was no um, man in his pants running around. <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> Purely disappointing, really. To be fair. Yeah, no, overall, man, it was really good. Yeah, I mean, the layout, the layout was amazing. Way too much smoke in there. I mean, oh. I couldn't even see it. Like, yeah, I, I was at the front and I couldn't see a thing. Like pitch black the whole way. It did get me a few times. Uh, the grab your feet as well, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, overall, better than last year. Really, really good, mate. Really, the light oh, was yeah. amazing in there. It's so, it's so good set pieces. Like it's just there's so much detail in there. You, you can't take it all in because you're just going through it so quickly. But yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic. Mate. I'm quite impressed actually because last. Year, like I said, I was really disappointed. Everyone was bigging it up, saying it was amazing. However, though, this year it's really good. So in the meantime, we are going to do our second maze. Uh, so one down, three to go. What are we doing next? The attic. We're going to do the attic. I've not got high hopes for it, but we'll I enjoyed the attic last year. Uh, Did I enjoy it? I don't know if I enjoyed it or not. I don't know if I enjoyed pretty, it. Pretty boring. But, but uh, hopefully they've changed it up this year. Yeah. So we're going to try the attic now and let you guys know if it's any good. Are you excited, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, the attic. Well, I'm writing a book at the moment, it's called The Candy Lad's Guide to Ghost Hunt. But it's a bit of a pamphlet at the moment, unfortunately, because I've not seen any ghosts. So, okay, here we go, we're actually now in the queue for the attic. Now here at night time, it's absolutely gorgeous it is. All the lighting and everything. So it looks like it's just gonna be us four in the, uh, in the groups going in. So uh, we'll let you guys know what it's like. The Attic 2021 here at Scarefest. Okay, we've just come off the attic. We had a really good run, however though, but we've just been, well you've been told, I don't know. I got stopped at the end and um, they said, oh, you can't, you can't be going through places you're not supposed to. I was like, you are. Yeah, but we don't know what places. the room. We, we followed the group. I'm a bit slightly confused. Oh, you yeah. got told off, mate. You should have gone to places where you should have. The thing is, though, really? I didn't know that place yeah. inside out, so how do I know what rooms are what? Yeah. No, nah, mate. So, yeah, the, apparently they called the manager to come down. They told us to wait at the stairs. <laughs> and told him off saying, well, you shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be going to certain rooms, so. It's like, well, I just went the way the actors told me to go. Like, what? I don't... I'm well confused in that. In fact, in anything, that's really dampened that maze yeah, now, mate. Yeah. At the end of it all. That's really shocking. Ladies, what do you reckon then to it? Terrible. Oh dear. Really? Oh dear, we've got a terrible yeah, one here. I, I, I did not jump once. I was like, what Did you not? I out the way Lucy was I jumped, I screamed a few times. You yeah, did as well. Used me as a shield. I think the problem was, 
the actors were at the people at the front and then you two at the back yeah. and then those two we were totally oh ignored. so if you're in the middle you're kind of missing yeah. everything i think that's true yeah. Yeah. literally i was like well, where is anybody yeah that's that's crazy well anyway now we've been told off slap on the wrist don't know i don't know why we just followed the group uh now we are heading out towards uh darkest depths which i actually genuinely enjoyed last year i thought it was better than any maze here however it was age 13 so uh this year though it's aged 50 so i'm sure it's going to be uh pretty cool though dude are you excited for it yeah i'm looking forward to it it's a good maze really good well maze. obviously lucy loved darkest depth last year didn't I you did. so uh have you actually been on it no. Yeah, no. You've uh, never been on it? You got when it was in the welcoming. Is that the same one? No, that is the same one. No, no you haven't. No, no she hasn't. So we have, a, we have a Darkest Depths Virgin here. So uh, here we go. Let's check it out. Okay, we are now scanned in the queue now, ready for Darkest Depths. Really looking forward to this. Enjoyed it last year. Just seen uh, Park Spill and his lovely wife, I can say that now, Jojo. And uh, they said it's really, really good. So uh, here we go. Darkest Depths. Oh, please be good. Let you guys know. So please do not put the resource. Okay, we've just done the uh, darker steps. You're not finding it very scary, are we? No, no we're not. There's nothing, apart from that one guy. What yeah, oh, oh, that one guy, yeah, she probably screamed. Oh, and I was like, yeah, she got scared. I wasn't paying attention and I wasn't looking in front of me. And then when I looked in front of me, oh. he was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought the set pieces, once again, were brilliant like they were oh, yeah. last year. But I don't understand why it's a 15. Yeah, I don't. I think it's probably the use of language has really become a bit more fruitful. But was it? Yeah. Like what? Yeah, I, think, well, I, I can't like remember that, anything. That, that thing at the start, some of the things he was saying in that, probably wouldn't have been said the guy at the yeah the yeah. uh the the little pre-show like before you go like in the innkeeper sort of thing what a guy yeah. what an absolute legend he scared me actually he did the whole thing where the lights go out and the next minute he's like yeah pointing at you brilliant the same actually with the attic as well the woman at the start she was really good she was how she remembers all them lines yeah. are you mocking me is she mocking me <laughs> she's like that chatter 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yes. But overall, yeah, the actors, I'm not going to lie to you, absolutely fantastic. I, I think that I, I've got no issues at all with the actors. I think they're no. really, really good. So in the meantime now, we are going to be doing our next maze, which is going to be toxic, but we're going to try and hold out as long as possible because it's still a bit light. So we want to try and try and do it in the dark. So um, we're going to try and see what kind of scare zones there is as well. So yeah, see you guys soon. Okay, here we go. Now we are actually now queuing for our final maze of the night. Toxic Junkyard. Freak show. Now they have done a bit of updates. We've got this big building just here. This wasn't here uh, last year. It was all outdoors. So uh, looking forward to going on it. Um, wasn't that, I'd, I'd say that though, I went on it last year in the daytime. It was absolutely awful because obviously everything was outdoors so we could see all the actors. However, though, we did go in it a few hours later when it's pitch black and it was fantastic. So here we go. Let's, live, let's see if this is any better than 2020. So we're about to enter our final maze. Toxic Junkyard. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's a good maze, it was a strong maze last year, and it looks like they've built on it a lot, so. Yeah, because what yeah. was here before? The, it was I don't know. No, was, this, this, wasn't, this wasn't here, though. This no, building here, I don't know if they- The structure wasn't, it had containers, but it didn't have, it wasn't all covered in, so. No, yeah, it wasn't. I'm excited. I am, I'm very intrigued as well, because like I said, I enjoyed it last year. The first one was awful, because it was daylight, like I said. However though, because we've got an indoor bit here, I'm looking forward to I'm it. Excited. So we're gonna let you guys know what it's like. Toxic Junkyard 2021. Let's see if it's any better. Let's do it. Right, here we go, we're now we're about to enter into it. Here we goes. We've got some performers just cracking off here. Join us, she's, join she's, us, she's giving it all, she's giving it all. Friends. She's giving it all. Here we go, freak show, Toxic Junkyard. Let's rock and roll. Okay, we've just done our final maze, the uh, toxic junkyard just over there. Um, I wish that I hold it out, should have waited really till about half seven. I think when it's pitch black in there, I thought it being certain bits indoors, it would be a lot better, but no, the light's still getting through. So yeah, do that guys at night time. It's a shame really. It was a good, you know, the actors were fantastic in there. The set pieces are great, it's, just walk, it's like walking through my kid's room. It's mess, mess everywhere. But overall, 
Out of all the mazes, out of the four mazes, I would say that's probably the weakest one. And then I probably would say, I'd say the best one so far, I'd say Darkest Depth of the Game. It's between that and the Attic. There what are your go. thoughts, Sam? I thought it was good. I thought it was the weakest of all the mazes. That's why I just said, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it still, it wasn't terrible. It was still good. It's just I think the other mazes were stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's kind of the same as last time, yeah. just with a roof on it. Uh, but it's yeah, right. it was all right. It was it's all right. right. Yeah. It's all right. Names. Same. <laughs> I didn't do it last year. Cheap way out of it. I love it. I love I it. I need to compare it to. But, but did you enjoy it though? Yeah, it was alright. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a look around and see if there's any more shows or any scare zones at the moment. Because Old Towers is so big, trying to get actors, it's so hard though, isn't it? Like, when we went to Thorpe Park... I think they've definitely got a lot more actors here this year than what they had last year. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, 100%. Um, I'm not saying it's poor or anything at the moment, but I'm just... Some of the mazes are good, theming's great, actors are fantastic, but I just... It's not amazing. But overall, mate, yeah. So we're gonna have a look around and then we're actually gonna uh, Garden lights, we've got to go. We've got to do there. the garden lights as well, and obviously we'll give our full review of the entire evening. So as Lee would say, stick with us. Shut up, behave man. What's this guy on? Wow. Okay, we've got new for this year, we've got the trick or treat here for the kids, which is actually fantastic. It's pretty much amazing where you knock on the door and obviously you get sweets and stuff. Ten pounds for this. Um, however though, this looks like actually alright, looks quite good. Obviously not going to go into it because I ain't a child. I'm a man child, but not a child. But yeah. Okay, right now we are now entering into the gardens with the lights, which Amy apparently has got a massive obsession with. So uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, obviously through here as well, we've got to do social distancing. We seem to have gone back in time. So... Uh, Follow the rules. The rest of the park, you don't have to soak. No, but yeah. only in, in here, the gardens. In here, COVID is present. COVID, COVID is here, <laughs> so we have to social distance. Oh, wow, look at this. Absolutely amazing. There you go, guys. We gave you some shots there of the beautiful gardens, which obviously Amy loves. She loves her trees and loves her lights. Her trees. Loves her trees and lights. Wow, what an incredible day it has been. It's been good, you know, um, yeah. some really good mazes. Not many actors about, but that's Holton Towser. It's so big, you probably miss him. Um, I bet there are about. What do you reckon then, dude, for uh, tonight then? Do you yeah, it's, I good? It's, it's been good. It's been a good event. Um, it's good for Towers compared to last year. It's a lot better. Um, but yeah, there's still way more they can improve on it. It's not a touch on what Scarefest used to be. From what we've come to accept from Towers yeah. recently, it's been a good year. Yeah, it's. Um, I think the actors have been fantastic. Yeah. I think oh, the yeah. maze layouts have been really good. I feel though, and uh, Lucy actually came up with a good point on this. The fact of because of COVID's finish now, we're all in big groups, so we're not getting the jump scares no. as before. We was in our own little families. So, we, uh, so it was more personal to you when you went yeah, into yeah. these mazes. So now because obviously COVID's lifted, big groups, you're missing all the jump scares. Is it worth the money? That is the big question. Personally, I don't think it is. Um, £24 on Merlin Pass. I think it's 30 quid without it. 30 quid without, yeah. Overall, it's been a good day. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. I'm, I'm glad that Scarefest is back. I'm glad that the COVID restrictions yes, have eased. Absolutely. And like I say, mate, it's nothing worse than last year with the masks and stuff like that. You couldn't hear what they were saying. Obviously, it's been li uh, lifted, so now you can actually hear the performance, which is brilliant. So, uh, yeah, Lucy, today. This is what I've been waiting for. There it is. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias on Instagram and Facebook. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell. Every time we upload a new video, you will be notified. So I'm done. I'm Rob. Are you, are you doing it? Yeah. I'm Lucy. I'm Amy. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> and thank you for watching. See you soon. And as always, as always, happy riding. See you next time. Bye bye.